Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Encompass Live. I am your host, Krista Burns, here at the Nebraska Library Commission. Uh, Encompass Live is the Commission's weekly online event where we cover anything that may be of interest to librarians. Um, the show is free and open to anyone to watch, for anyone to watch. Um, we do these sessions live on Wednesday mornings at 10 a.m. Central Time. And, um, but they are recorded, so if you're unable to join us on Wednesdays, that's fine. You can go to our website, which I'll be showing at the end of the show, and watch any of the recordings of all of our shows there if you want to. Um, we do a mixture of things here, presentations, uh, book reviews, mini training sessions. Basically, as I said, anything library related, we're happy to have it on the show. And we have Nebraska Library Commission staff that do presentations sometimes, and we have um, guest speakers that come in. And this morning we have a mixture of that. Um, today's uh, show is uh, Smart Investing Reference Strategies and Resources. And um, it's part of a grant that we got here at the Library Commission for Libraries. And I'm just going to hand over to you guys to go ahead and introduce yourself and explain exactly what this is all about um, today. So who's up? Thanks, Krista. We'll just introduce ourselves, I, and then, uh, then Joanne will take it from there. Um, I'm Mary Jo Ryan, and I'm the Communications Coordinator here at the Library Commission. Hi, everybody. And I'm Joanne McManus, and I'm also here uh, at the Nebraska Library Commission, and I am the project manager for the Smart Investing at your library builds Nebraska community. So, Kathy, do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, I'll do that. Uh, I'm Kathy Prohaska Q, and I am retired, actually, a retired financial educator, and um, they asked me to come in and, and work with them on this project, and I appreciate that. And we appreciate you. Can you pass that to Catherine, too? Pass it to Catherine. Hi everyone, I'm Catherine Brockmeyer and I am the external evaluator for this grant. I'm here at the Nebraska Library Cat Commission. Okay, Joanne, you got the mic back. Yes, very good. Well, thank you for joining us today. We have uh, quite a few people that signed up for today's uh, webinar, so I know we have a big group online and that's exciting. Um, the Smart Investing at Your Library Builds Nebraska Communities uh, project is a project that was is funded by the FINRA Investor Education Foundation and is a partnership with the American Library Association. And uh, all of you that are out there, if you go ahead and take this training and you publicize that your staff is taking this uh, training, we would like you to be able to use this tagline as well because that's, uh, I mean, that's who these are the sponsors that brought us this program. And I also wanted to introduce uh, Margaret Monsoor. She is with ALA and one of our two contacts for this grant. Um, Robert Gannam from the FINRA Investor Education Foundation is also very involved in helping us through this grant. But Margaret, I know you're on the line. Can you unmute yourself and say a few words? Yes. Um, can you hear me? We can. Yes. Great. Okay. Great. Well, thanks so much for inviting me to join you. I'm really excited to be um, part of your presentation. And um, just a little background information for the folks that are also joining us. Um, Smart Investing at Your Library has uh, been going on since 2007. And to date, um, ALA and the FINRA Foundation have uh, made grants to over 110 public libraries uh, for a total of $8.2 million. Um, so one of the major goals of the program is to build the capacity of uh, public libraries to provide unbiased financial education uh, resources and programming. And staff training as in it is a very important component of being able to build that capacity. So the webinar that you're going to be experiencing today is part of that overall goal to help staff become more comfortable and more confident in uh, delivering uh, unbiased information, unbiased financial information to your various publics. So um, capacity building um, benefits that uh, are you're going to um, receive through this staff training you're going to find out um, what your current level of financial knowledge really is. Um, and it's going to help you create training, or, or these folks here at the table are going to help you create the training that will increase your effectiveness. Um, another benefit is designing um, a train-the-trainer model that can be replicated in other libraries. 
um, I can think of at least 10 libraries that have created train the trainer models so that everyone coming in after the grant ends gets the benefit of um, the staff training that was originally experienced. And the other big thing that staff training does is to build the sustainability component. When the grant ends, um, we, we'd like to um, help libraries remain involved in financial literacy education and programming and sustainability is one big way to do that through the staff training. So um, again, I'm glad to be part of your presentation and thank you for inviting me and I'm looking forward to the program. Thank you very much, Margaret. You're welcome. And please do feel free at any point in time to just uh, pipe in because you're going to have probably a lot to add as we go along and we welcome that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to uh, talk just a tiny bit about FINRA and the FINRA uh, Investor Education Foundation, just so you, when we talk about FINRA, you have more of an idea what this is. Um, FINRA is an independent organization that regulates brokers and firms and writes and enforces rules and handles dispute resolution and monitors trading mm -hmm. and a lot of other things. And they have an arm called the FINRA Investor Education um, Arm. They also have a foundation that collects funds from uh, financial uh, industry um, dis indiscretions. So that, those funds are then made available through the foundation to fund projects like uh, Margaret mentioned the projects in libraries, but many other projects, education projects as well. Um, briefly, the FINRA Investor Education Foundation was established in 2003 and has the mission of providing Americans with the knowledge, skills, and tools necessary to, to do a good job of financial um, investing and decision making. And financial literacy, of course, is a goal. And they do this through grants, and they manage projects. And, and again, this is done through a project that's a partnership with ALA, as Margaret mentioned. And that partnership is what resulted in our Nebraska libraries being able to receive the funding to put on these uh, classes for our citizens, but also to, to be able to have this um, excellent training for our staff. So maybe, Joanne, you want to talk a little bit about how our partners are going to work together. I sure do. Here's a list of the partners that are in our, that are in our Smart Investing Grant. Uh, Center for Rural Affairs, the Nebraska Council on Economic Education, the Nebraska Financial Education Coalition, of course, the Nebraska Library Commission, who uh, is providing the project manager, which is myself. Um, Northeast Library System is our fiscal agent. And actually, Sarah Warnicke is joining us today. And uh, Sarah, did you want to uh, say a few things? Uh, sure. Can everyone hear me? Yes, yes. we can. OK. Yes, I just wanted to say again that I am excited to be involved with this project, even though it got started a bit before I came to the office. I think this is going to be a great resource to get started here in Nebraska throughout the rest of this year. Thanks very much, Sarah. Uh, also, uh, were you done or were you pausing? <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to cut you off. <laughs> no, I'm done. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, another great partner is uh, University of Nebraska-Lincoln Extension, and actually Extension educators across Nebraska are going to be helping with our um, training for our customers um, when the, that gets started this summer, fall, or winter. And actually Kathy Prohaska q is also uh, had been with uh, UNL Extension, and so she's going to be a great link and asset for us as well. And I believe in at least one case, I think in Pawnee City, we have the extension edu their extension educator who will be helping them with their training uh, actually uh, sitting in the library with uh, Lola. So uh, we're excited that some of those connections are already starting. And then, of course, UNL Money Management. Uh, Center is also one of our partners, and uh, Kathy Prosper Q is on that board, and so she has a couple links there up on the partner list. But we're excited that we have such a great team to help us through this process. And I uh, did want to talk just a quick 
overview of our entire project. Now the Smart Investing Reference Strategies resources that we're starting today is just one facet, but um, uh, we are going to mention a few other things, but obviously we're kicking off today on April 30th. This is open to all of the 22 official participating libraries, and we have a good group on the line from those libraries, obviously. But also other libraries, whether they're public or school or academic libraries in Nebraska or from other states. And we have a, a pretty good contingent on the line now, and we hope that um, you continue with us over the next few weeks. Uh, the project that we're going to be this reference strategy uh, curriculum has been developed by the Santa Clara County, California Library System, uh, also through a FINRA grant. And uh, so we are excited that we didn't have to start from scratch. And obviously, um, the FINRA Foundation uh, keeps those wonderful things that have been developed online, and so we're happy to be able to use that. A little bit about the resource kits. We are going to be sending out resource kits, which are a lot of books and DVDs to the 22 participating libraries, Nebraska libraries. But for other Nebraska libraries, we are going to have some kits available to libraries through interlibrary loan and overdrive. So you can look forward to that. Now, of course, those of you out of state, I'm sure you have some great resources to tap in as well. One thing I might mention is those kits will be available either as a bulk loan of all the kits plus the marketing materials. If you um, are not one of the 22 participating libraries in Nebraska, but you'd like to get a bulk loan of all the materials and then marketing materials so you can like have a special display and a special week or a special uh, month of activities for your community, you can still do it even though you aren't part of the training and the 22 participating libraries. Or if you just want to borrow a single book for a customer, for a library customer, that will be available as well through Interlibrary Loan through the Nebraska Library Commission Reference and Information Desk. Right. And we've already ordered those books. Most of them have arrived, and so uh, we will be getting those out to the 22 libraries in May. Yeah, they're in process right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're coming in. Um, but the, we're also doing a marketing and outreach component, and of course, this is going to help our libraries to generate um, interest in their communities when the customer online training and on-site training comes, uh, whether a library uh, picks that up in um, summer or fall or winter. Um, we do obviously want people to be able to uh, know how to get the word out. We have a question about the kits, and I'm sure. not sure if you have this coming up in the presentation or not. Well, no, let's have, if, um, if you've got a question, let's get it well, out. It's relevant right now, so I thought we'd be good to jump sure. in. Sure. Um, do you have a list available somewhere? <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you have a list available of the items that will be included in the kits? We can certainly do that. I don't think we have that up on our website yet, but we can certainly put that up there. Um, the kits are not exactly the same in that some of the 22 participating libraries requested certain books because they have a certain population, mm -hmm. but... We can give you a list of all the books that we ordered, and you can pick and choose from them depending on if you want to do some collection development in that area. Right. And we purposely did not spend all the money on our interlibrary loan materials yet because we know that there's going to be some new books that come out in the next six months, too. So we wanted to have some flexibility. So we'll keep growing this. So we will put out, we will put the list of every, one of each book on, listed on our uh, web page, which we'll talk to you about later, where you can find information about that. And um, and then if you know of a book that you want us to purchase, and it's a relatively new book, uh, we can get that added as well. Sure. And then <laughs> one last thing, if what you're asking is not for, to, is if you're not asking about borrowing the bulk loan of the complete kit, but you're really interested in borrowing individual books for your library customers, be sure to check the Library Commission catalog on our website, and that's nlc.nebraska.gov, because you can look on the catalog and see what's been cataloged and put into our collection and what's available. Right. But right now, the new purchases are probably not on there. Nope, not yet. May. <laughs> Sometime in May. Is that tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> 
later in May. We'll say you later. Have the whole month. You have the whole month of May <laughs> to get this rolling. Okay. Um, and then, of course, we're going to be doing uh, customer training in our 22 libraries. Other libraries are also welcome to use that online curriculum being via Nebraska's Moodle site. And that curriculum was actually developed again through a FINRA grant uh, by the Iowa State University Extension. And so we thank them for letting us borrow that curriculum and moving that to our Moodle site. And we're going to be doing, uh, again, like um, we did with the uh, Santa Clara curriculum that we're going to be talking about in just a minute. Uh, we'll be doing a few minor edits uh, to reflect some new things that have happened in the financial world over the last 18 months or so. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, valuation. Um, FINRA, one of the things that the FINRA Foundation and ALA is really good about is having us grantees um, do a evaluation of the project. And I believe that probably the biggest reason for that is because they use so many of the materials that have been developed through the former grants to then suggest to new grantees. And so I think that evaluation piece is really important. And so when we ask you to do the pre-test or the pre-evaluation and the post-evaluation, uh, that helps us and that helps uh, future grantees as well. And I think it's helpful to, to the individuals too, to kind of get an idea. So we thought you might be feeling a little bit like this now deer in the headlights? Please don't feel that way. <laughs> we are going to do everything we can to help Nebraska library staff and volunteers get better and, and feel more confident at directing library customers to reliable and unbiased financial education materials. Um, it's really important for all of us um, to recognize and to, to just admit to ourselves that we're not going to be experts in this area. This is not our field of expertise any more than it is when you're providing assistance to someone in getting tax materials or when you're providing assistance to someone in finding websites that are reliable medical information or reliable legal information. That doesn't make us lawyers. This, and again, this does not make us financial professionals. But what it does for us, I think, and, and what I'm hoping it does, is helps us all feel more confident about the resources that are out there and what's reliable and unbiased that we can point people to when they ask us a question. So I'm, I'm hoping everybody feels really comfortable about the fact that we're going to all work together to get there. Um, so my first question is, we're going to do a little poll, and the question is, what financial or money management questions are you getting from library customers? And I know for sure some of you are getting them because when we asked you if you wanted to be part of this grant, you told us some of the questions. So please type in the chat box. And if you're, if you're in a room with a group of people and you want to do a little brainstorming about what different people are hearing, mm -hmm. go ahead and feel free to type in the chat box. And as we get them, we will um, share them mm -hmm. with the rest of the group. Okay, here's the first one. They want to know how to use value lines. You can leave it over there. It should pick up. They want to know how to use value line. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't even know what that is. Um, value line is a, 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 well, it was, when I was in a university, I made books, but it's information about uh, companies and organizations. Oh, okay, so it's a, it's a reference. It's a yeah. reference. Mm -hmm. um, Database. Database. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, help with tax forms, which I know we're not supposed to do. Help with tax <laughs> forms. So that'll be good to get an idea just how far we want to go as library professionals versus tax professionals. Mm -hmm. and, and also what kind of partnerships you might want to build to have people come in who can actually mm -hmm. sit down with somebody and help them. Well, someone wants, they want to know why they don't have value line. Well, that would be a question that you'd have to answer. Want to know why they don't have the library. The library. Oh, money. Yeah, uh, probably, yeah. Uh, questions about their credit and how they can repair it. Wow. Um, there are some resources Retirement for IRA. Um, differences with CDs, different CDs that you can do. Um, ratings of stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, what to pick for their portfolio. 
Excellent. You will find some resources on that. Yes, and almost everything that I've heard so far is going to be um, in one of the four units mm -hmm. of this training. Um, more retirement questions, more tax forms, how to invest stocks with an online program, all those online resources that are available now. Oh, like an, uh, online, like an online broker kind mm -hmm. of, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of commercial on TV about that. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, how to fill out FAFSA forms. How to find first-time home buyer home loans. Okay, so financial aid for college students and home loans and mortgages. Mm -hmm. uh, finding free credit report each year. Well, that's an easy one. The federal government puts it up there for you. It's mm -hmm. totally going to be part credit. of the lesson. Yeah, <laughs> that's an automatic. That's a yeah. How to get a credit report? Okay. Um, when to use trusts versus wills? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's. I think that's in one of the units mm -hmm. about trusts and wills. I think it's in unit four. Mm -hmm. See, Joanne's much more familiar with the <laughs> curriculum than I am. And benefits, other benefits related to that. And um, someone starting a small business. Great. Okay. That, again, might be another area in which we get better at making partnerships with people who can come and help somebody, um, like a SCORE volunteer, for example, or, or who, whatever you have in your community. Like Center for Rural Affairs has some resources for that. Any other ones? I've read all the ones that came in. So we're getting some good ideas about the kinds of things that you're hearing and it, and we're also feeling pretty good about the fact that it matches up pretty well with the curriculum you're going to be going through. Right. Yes. So right now, and this is just a preliminary poll, believe me, you're not going to be held to this at any point in time, but just feeling the way you feel now, knowing what you know now, if you were to think about the audiences for these three separate units, this is the, this is the uh, citizen curriculum, so three separate units, what would be the audience that you think would be most likely in your community to get involved in the training? So who would you focus on in your community? Would it be the starting out audience? the building up audience, or the making it last, retiring and retirees? There's, we're not seeing on that screen, but they're, the poll is now open. They're answering. Thank you. The poll is now open. Again, this is another thing you might want to brainstorm if there are several of you in one room. Very interesting. you want to see how it works? Yeah. You can see how the numbers are going. Oh, I can see you guys are answering. Huh? And when it's done, we'll close it, and, all the, and the results will go up on the screen. All right. We'll give you a few more minutes. Because you have to, if there's a group, you might be arguing. I don't know. <laughs> and believe me, we won't hold you to this. You can make this decision later about which units and which audience. And, but. and that starting out audience is basically your 20 to 40 year olds. And you're building up are the pre-retirees. Those are getting close, but not there yet. And obviously the last one are those that have already retired. Mm -hmm. Looks like the numbers have stopped moving. Okay, we'll give you one so, more minute. Tick tock, tick tock. Oh, wait. A couple more still coming in. <laughs> <laughs> and again. Kind of like when you're making popcorn, wait until they stop and then. <laughs> and then you, you're ready to grab <laughs> that popcorn and then some more pop. <laughs> um, again, we're not holding you to this. The, the decision about which audience and which units you're going to work with is a joint decision between you and your, the people in your community that you get feedback from, as well as your local um, extension agent who might have some ideas about this, the person who's going to be doing the training. Looks like they're done. Yeah, I think okay, we're, we're done. done. Let's see it. Um, all right. It's on here, so you can see here. Oh, oh can you guys see it? They can yeah, see they it? can see this. Okay, yeah, you can see this. So basically what it says is that 25% of you are interested in the starting out, 22% in the building up, and at this point, 50-some percent, 53 percent in retiring and retirees. So that kind of gives you an idea of the audience. And, and we know a lot about the demographics in our Nebraska communities. There are a lot of people in that retiring and retiree category. OK, we have one more poll before. Oops. I need to switch back to. We're, oh, we're switching. Sorry. We just have one more poll now. And, um, and again, this is another one where you can kind of brainstorm if there's a group of you in a room, brainstorm where, what you're thinking about in terms of your level of staff confidence. So 
right now, you would answer this question. I rate my confidence in helping library customers find financial information as very high, high, average, I'm nervous, I'm petrified. And yes, um, Catherine just asked if we can get these results afterwards, and you can too. This will be in the recorded version of this. Oh yeah, because the, the screens are coming up. Yeah. yeah, screens are coming up. But it will also be in the attendee report afterwards in the spreadsheet that I'll give you. So there's, we'll have lots of ways to get back to this information if you now want it again. Oh, now look, look at all you guys are saying petrified. <laughs> <laughs> A few people are, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Okay, how about one more minute for this one? We're still clicking on you. I see, we're still voting. Great. Thank you very much for your participation. Did you guys come up with those categories? <laughs> Mary Jo came up with those categories. It was a joke. a joke. And I said, I love it. <laughs> Don't change it. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay. Looks like they're done. The About done voting. Moving. Yeah, looks like we're kind of. Thanks for thanks for playing. It looks like we have eleven percent who are in that petrified category, and I promise you, you won't be after you do the training. Uh, Forty percent are kind of nervous. Forty-three percent feel they have average information and confidence and skills, and a six percent high. That's really good. Six percent high is fabulous. So. We're going we're gonna to do great. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to learn from each other because Joanne will tell you a little bit about our plan for how this is going to work so that we can have lots of interaction with each other. Does anybody have any questions before we go on to more information about this online staff training? Please feel free to either ask to have your mic opened up or just go ahead and type questions in the chat box as we go along. We're very interruptible. <laughs> we're not marching through this. Right, Joanne? However, we do want to be wrapped up by luck. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> that's always hard for Mary Jo. She talks too much. Okay, go, Joanne. You're next. Very good. So now let's get into the meat of... Oh, we did have one comment at the community talking okay, about. Okay, I think it was from when you were talking about what kind of people would do this. Uh -huh. says, and it wasn't like choice of there. We have local investment clubs that would take advantage of this program. Oh, that is a great audience to do niche marketing with. Mm -hmm. And we will, in fact, have some tools and resources for you to get to those clubs. That is a great audience. Right. And, and they'll come together and have a good time. Yes. As I understand, they have food involved in those clubs. <laughs> yes. And, you know, in any type of learning experience that I've been involved in, you always learn um, from the other people that are in attendance. Mm -hmm. And those are the folks that are so used to talking about the subject of financial literacy that you are going to get really good interaction if they are in the group. So let's talk about the actual training itself. Uh, what is this online staff training? As I said, it was developed by Santa Clara County uh, Library District, or for the library district, through a FINRA grant. And it is designed to promote confidence and competence in responding to library customer questions on personal finance and investments. And we've kind of taken it a little bit farther uh, because uh, we think it was, we think it's important to, you know, have a have a crew behind us and get together a little bit more often. <laughs> but um, for those that actually go through all of the webinars and go through the online curriculum for those that are collecting CE credits uh, because you're a professional librarian, uh, you'll be getting 14 CE credits. Um, we are going to be doing, and many of you already uh, got this one under your belt, we're doing a pre-evaluation assessment, and we did send that out to everybody who has signed up uh, for this webinar. 43 of uh, the 65 or so folks that are going to be going through it from the 22 libraries have already completed that uh, pre-evaluation uh, assessment. And 
12 of the 35 from other libraries have completed that. And so we appreciate that. Good start. And for those of you who do plan on going through the online curriculum, before you start that online curriculum, we do want you to take that pre-evaluation assessment. You should have gotten an email from me if you signed up for the, uh, for the session today. But if you have not, if you did not sign up and you did not get that link, please email me and I, we will have my email uh, address on the screen in a little bit. Uh, keep in mind that today's uh, kickoff webinar, plus all of the check-in webinars that we're going to talk about, uh, is being recorded and will be available soon after they take place. So if you know of others that weren't, weren't able to listen today, they can get on our website and click on those recordings and watch them. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to show you where you find um, this online curriculum. Okay, here we are. This is on uh, the Santa Clara Library uh, County, Santa Clara County Library District's website. And this is just like uh, they had it when they sent their librarians through this course. And we can just, as you can see on the left side of the screen, are uh, quick links to get to uh, the glossary, week one readings, week two readings, resource files, answer keys, acknowledgments. And so feel free when you are online to click on those and see what's on there. But if we just page down Mary Jo, mm -hmm. it this is ba the basic front page that kind of lets you look at all of the things that are going on with the case studies and whatnot. Now these case studies are, um, they are the one thing, one of the few things that we're not requiring in this uh, Nebraska course. However, they are great projects if people want to um, do some, you know, just have some additional learning. Oh, and they're fun, too. They're yes. very fun. It's just that we don't want you to think you absolutely have to go through each one of these case studies. Maybe just pick one or two and try them or whatever. Right. But let's, why don't you, we go up, Mary Jo. You might want to mention, too, the, the fact about this assignment on this week one. That there's a week one assignment about developing a plan for completing a course project. Of course, that's optional, too. <laughs> right. And, and I'm going to show you on Nebraska's uh, cheat sheet where it tells you what's optional and what's not. But why don't you go ahead and click on that one week, week one reading, Mary Jo. There you go. Very good. So this is what you'll be doing in the next two weeks as we move forward, is you're going to be accomplishing basically week one. And so as you move down the page, um, and Mary Jo, I'll have you move, keep moving down the page, you're going to see that there are, um, going a little further, you're going to see that there are, right, you can just stay right there. Um, you can see those hot links. For instance, you see that uh, FINRA.org website. Obviously, that is a great website to find out, find it. Uh, financial information, CNN money, those are things that you, when you click on them, it actually goes to those websites. And then it, you can click on that glossary of terms, and of course that is their glossary, and we have, we are providing our own. We took their glossary and edited it um, to bring it a little bit more up to date. And But as you go through this, you're reading, you're going to websites, um, you're looking at terms, um, and then just page down a little bit more, Mary Jo. Like the net income and the disposable income and the credit score, all of that, those don't actually take you to a website. Those take you to the glossary that's in Santa Clara system. And and, um, you know, I, and then go down a little bit more, and we're going to kind of go to the end. There's some great other resources and tutorials that are highlighted, but let's go to the end. Um, I, 
I'm just going to have you go all the way to the end, Mary Jo, where it talks about the assignments. And the so there's a lot of content in here. You can see quite a bit of different topics are going to be covered in these two weeks. And even though it says week one, it's really week one and two. Right. We're, yeah. We're going to give you two weeks to do, to cover a week's worth. But um, you can see at the end that it does have a week one assignment options. And those, when we get to Nebraska's cheat sheet, uh, it's going to tell you that that is optional. Uh, but there is going to be also a test. Is there a test at the bottom or are you way at the very I think, bottom? I'm at the bottom. I think the test is maybe here at the bottom of the assignment. Mm -hmm. There it is. No. No? Well, those are the case studies. Yeah, there it is. Take the week one quiz. Oh, there Take it the is. Take the week one quiz. There it is. Very good. Um, there is a quiz, and you can just go ahead and click on that if you want to. And the answer, uh, it has the quiz, and then on page two has the answers. Uh, those are for yourself, um, for your own information. You don't have to turn in those answers to us or let us know if you got them right or got them wrong. <laughs> yeah, Catherine just mentioned, you might see these again on the post-evaluation. Uh-huh. And of course, if you for those we're not going to talk about the answers or the questions on the pre-evaluation since not all of you have taken those, uh, but those um, you'll be seeing those again also on the post-evaluation. So, but we are going to be as we go through our training, we're and have our check-in webinars. We're going to be talking about uh, the important things to know, and so we're hoping that. We're going to make this a, a really learning environment. Um, I think we'll, um, what we'll do, Mary Jo, is we'll just go on to the next. We're going to show you what Nebraska has done. And well, if you have any questions about any of this, just go ahead and type them right in or, or ask to have your hand. Someone your, did ask about, um, can you give us the URL? And there it is right there. But um, don't worry about trying to write down that URL. It's long and convoluted sometimes. Um, this PowerPoint presentation and any links that are mentioned in here will be included in the show recording afterwards. You'll get access to the presentation and all the links we put into our Delicious account. So um, you'll have all of that afterwards. And this is another place you can find the links to all of this. And that is at nlc.nebraska.gov. Obviously, it's slash grants, slash FINRA, slash index. But you don't have to remember all that. Just come to our website, nlc.nebraska.gov, and search on FINRA and it'll take you to our page. Or Smart Investing. Or Smart Investing. Either way. All right. Here we go. And this is where it'll take you. Right. So this, when you get to our Nebraska Library Commission website, um, we are right on um, the Smart Investing web page. But if you actually came to our website and you weren't on this web page, obviously to the left you see that word grants, funding, E-Ray. When you hit on that, it, you're going to see all of our grants, and you're going to see that Smart Investing FINRA grant. And so... Or you go through the search. Either way, it'll get you there. Right. But this page... So this is the our web page for this grant project. And you can... It does have a lot of discussion of basically what the project is. But you can see to the right those additional resources. The press release, uh, webinars. That webinars is... Anytime you've missed a webinar and you want to go see the recording, that's where you can click on it. Now, as you can see, back on April 1st, we did have a webinar um, that just it gave an overview of what is coming. And so if you missed that, you can watch it, but really um, you don't need to because starting today, that's what's going to really take you through this particular uh, avenue. Anyhow, um, and then librarian training documents, that's the important piece for those going through this session. So when you click on that uh, and go to the bottom of that page, there are the links to what Nebraska has added uh, to this process that we think will be able to help you the most. Um, this glossary, as I said, we started with um, the glossary developed by Santa Clara. 
and both myself and uh, Kathy went through their glossary and we did some things here. First of all, on the yellow highlights, you can see that um, we hide, if, if you wanted to not read all two or three paragraphs that we wrote, the yellow highlights are the basic um, definition of these items. We also uh, did add some things. Those are highlighted basically in the buff colors. But if you study the terms, you're going to be doing pretty well on the post-test. Now, don't study those terms before you do the pre-test, <laughs> <laughs> because obviously we want to be able to show uh, FINRA and ALA that those who did go through the training did learn something. And so we're hoping that the post-tests are going to be um, so show a little bit better scores yeah. than the pre-test. So don't be worried. And we did make some of those questions specifically fairly hard, so the average person off the street isn't going to be getting all of those correct the first time. And so don't feel badly if you don't know the answer. We had, a, we had some people here at the Library Commission test the pre-evaluation, and some of them said, I better go through that curriculum. There's a lot I don't know. So it, it, feel, it makes you feel that way, but it also it's a great motivator for us all to learn more. Now click on Nebraska's Guide, because this, uh, this is what I would call the most important document that we have on here. This is several pages, and um, just go to the bottom box on this page. I want to just uh, point out a couple things. It's on the green, where, it, where you see the word green, uh, as you go to future pages, you're going to see things that are highlighted in green. And this is additional Nebraska-related links. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, Santa Clara, when you click on um, their, you're going to be clicking on their state agencies that do things in the financial region. If you go down and find the first green thing, Mary Jo. I'm going. <laughs> there it is. Then their website is going to take you to their Federal Reserve Bank. Well, in Nebraska, Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City is our Federal Reserve Bank. And so, you know, use this link to get to our Federal Reserve because then you can actually click on uh, the state of the economy in Nebraska or in our region. Now, obviously, if you're from another state, you're going to want to find your Federal Reserve that, um, that would represent your particular state. Uh, and then, um, so each week, if you just, why don't you page back up, Mary Jo, just a little bit. Okay, so here is, when you're on uh, the Santa Clara site, you go through and you click on stuff. You could also click on those same things uh, by using this particular grid. And you'll also find out if you're wondering whether it's something that's required in Nebraska's version, then we have that written in here. So if you go down, um, like for instance, that project planning template. When you're in Santa Clara and see that project planning, project planning template, it looks like it's a pretty hard project, and it is kind of. But right there we say that Nebraska's course does not require a course project. So if you have this document sitting open at the same time you're going through Santa Clara, you can see, and this is in the same order, then you can see that's something that if you'd like to do it, you're going to learn from it, but it's not something that we're going to be having you turn in. Uh, and then, for instance, um, that you also there are a few non-live links anymore on Santa Clara and that one there the my money gov spending plan that is no longer a live link and so I'm just telling you you're not going to find it I tried to find it <laughs> <laughs> if you find it and want to tell me about it I will that'd be great we'll I'll put that certainly in there. <laughs> edit, edit that document and if you just page down a little bit further Mary Jo Okay, so, um, and then also you can see we're here, we're at the bottom of Unit 1, 
and it talks about those week one assignments and possible answers. Again, I am telling you there, that's not required for the Nebraska course. And then when you get to that week one quiz and answers, that is a self-test for your knowledge. And I do, do say you don't need to turn in any results. So that is for your information and use. Um, is that one required? Yeah, it, well, and it's very short. It's just for your personal use as you're going through yeah. it. it some of the questions are yes, the yes. It, it, yeah, it, Catherine it. reminds us again that some of those questions are going to be coming up in your final post-evaluation. So even though it's just for your own use, do it because you'll learn from it. But anyhow, this, um, this document is going to help you go through the course, and it will also, uh, it's something that you can also call up on your screen at any time and search for good websites that you know you've been to, and, you know, they're all linked on this site as well. Good reminder, when someone comes walking in, and ask you a question and you're like, oh my gosh, I saw that thing in the Santa Clara. What was that? You could go back to here and find it probably right. pretty fast. Right. And this is really important for those of yes. you from Nebraska that want to be able to click on actual Nebraska agencies and links. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, like uh, the college savings um, information. Each state has their own uh, program in that. And so you really do want to find your own states. And so this will help Nebraskans to find those. Uh, I also have the calendar of check-in webinars. And we're going to be talking about those a little bit more. But uh, here it is that you can click right on. And even though you can go to our calendar and sign up for those check-in webinars, they're also hot linked right there from that document. So there's several ways to sign up for those check-in webinars, and we will be talking about those. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what we have on our web page um, that will help you. So I'm going to let Kathy talk a little bit about these four check-in webinars, um, because she's going to be serving as our, I know she doesn't like me use the word <laughs> expert, Partner, partner. <laughs> our professional, <laughs> our partner with professional yeah. expertise. Uh, okay, Joanne, do you want to talk about this before they come to the check-in? Oh, yes. I get what they need to do. Yeah. Um, so before two weeks, uh, um, our first check-in webinar is two weeks from tomorrow. And before that, there's a few things you'll need to do. Uh, and I'm going to have kind of a reminder at the very end, too, but you do need to accomplish the unit readings. And so before the next two weeks, you'll want to work on Unit 1. As you're going through Unit 1, there's going to be hot link web resources. Um, you can click on those. If you see anything good and say, wow, my customers are going to want me to share this with them, we want you to make note of that because not all of you will have time to take lengthy looks at all of these web resources so we can help each other out by if somebody noticed something great, then we can share that next time. So take notes if you really see some, something good. And, uh, and become uh, familiar with the week's definitions as well because those are the things um, that are going to help you um, you know, be able to take away, take away um, a really good learning, learning experience. And then before the, each check-in, at least two days before, email me questions and concepts that you would like us to cover in the next check-in. Because then we can be prepared. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's go to the next slide. Yeah. Okay, what, let, what's going to be included in those check-in webinars? Well, first of all, we're going to ask you, uh, if you want to, to share what you would consider a cool web, web feature that you found on a hot links website, uh, something that would, you thought might be of particular help to your library customers. Then those questions that you're going to be emailing to Joanne, 
uh, we will have a discussion of some of the, at least some of those questions and concepts. It kind of depends on how many we get. Uh, for the ones that we may not be able to cover, uh, we'll figure out a way to, to get you back some responses for those uh, beyond the webinar. We will, I will be doing a 20-minute presentation uh, on a, a particular topic, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in just a minute or two. And then finally, we're going to uh, discuss what we're calling your favorite questions from the pre-evaluation. And so again, uh, we will look at some of those questions. Uh, if you have questions about those questions, again, let Joanne know so we particularly highlight what you want to hear about. Okay, next slide. Yeah. Next slide. We're, uh, these are our, actually, our actual four check-in webinars, May 15th, May 29th, June 12th, and June 26th. You sign up for those um, similar to how you signed up to today's, and they are on the calendar on our website. And, um, and the one thing I do, do want to mention before I forget, um, after the check-in webinar four, we're going to have a post-evaluation, just like we, that's very similar to the pre-evaluation. And for the 22 libraries that are actually participating in our grant project, any staff or volunteers that are going through this training, after they complete that post-evaluation, we're going to draw one lucky win winner for an e-reader. So... Uh, Hopefully, that'll keep you going. <laughs> <laughs> you could be the winner. <laughs> okay, if we can go to the next slide. Uh, what are those topics that we're going to be covering in the next two weeks and the topics that we'll be talking about at that first check-in webinar? Well, there are five of them. Your credit score, uh, mortgages, banking products, budgeting, and financial planning. Those are really, really broad areas, and so if you can be as specific as possible with any questions that you have, any specific topics you'd like to have addressed, uh, let Joanne know, and we'll try to cover those mm -hmm. during the webinar. Mm -hmm. And right now, you can vote for um, any of those, one or more, that you think would be probably what you want Kathy to talk about. Not yeah. that we won't what get... What do you think is a high priority at this point? You might change your mind in right. two weeks. But... Right, because as you go through the reading, you might change your mind and email those to me. But right now, just what off the top of your head, which one of these, one or more of these five areas do you think might be where you want to learn a little bit more? And as I'm looking at those responses, you know, the topic financial planning is really broad. So if you have some specifics you'd like to know, uh, for example, do you want to know how to find a financial planner or what do you look for? Or, you know, is it the financial planning process that you're asking about? Uh, you know, if you've got some specifics about those topics, let Joanne know and, and I'll try to cover those. I will try to cover those. Okay. All right. Very good. The next one. Um, well, oh, just, oh, that's just right. Oh, there's poll. about there's 30 poll. more seconds to give people finish up the poll. Do we got COVID in here? They're still, they're still tweaking. Are still trying trying to to decide. Decide. I know it's it hard when there's yeah. more than one of you in a room. You might have different opinions. What does it mean by banking products? Banking products would be like us, uh, your checking account versus your savings account versus uh, money markets. Money markets. Yeah. Um, mortgages, obviously those could be your regular home loans or it could also be the reverse mortgages that some, um, some people may be confused about mm -hmm. uh, how confused that about. works. Okay, we'll close the poll and what we ended up with are three big winners. Uh, the biggest of course is that whole big area of financial planning and again as you're thinking about that please email specifics to Joanne as you're going through this that you'd like more information about. Um, budgeting, I think I knew that one was going to be big because I know a lot of people have a lot of issues with that. and It's something we can really help people in, in our communities with. And credit scores, people want to know about that. So, great. Right, and obviously credit scores are important because they can affect interest rates and insurance rates and all kinds of things. So, uh, we want to... Again, we do want uh, to thank our funder, and uh, if you are publicizing what you're doing in this area, we do want you to use that tagline as well. Uh, all the 
press releases and trainers need to be approved in advance. And uh, Kathy, I got you approved. Thank you. I'm <laughs> Our first well, trainer well, has been approved. <laughs> Yay! Uh, and then, um, and then, of course, any speakers or presenters or trainers, either in this venue or while we move on to the customer training will be approved as well. Yeah, they, and they cannot be registered brokers or, or registered through FINRA or state securities. And again, incentives and prizes can't advertise banks or brokers, which I know that's a place where a lot of people think about getting incentives, but that's not where we're going to get them. We're going to have to get them locally through other places. So. Or, or insurance people either. Or insurance people either. Good point, yes. Okay, next steps, Joanne. Yep, and uh, I have everyone's email that registered, and so I am going to send these next steps to everyone who I have your email. Uh, but basically, if you have not taken the pre-evaluation and you're going to be going through this process with us, please do that before you start that, that um, online uh, curriculum. Now, the only place you can get that link to that survey is through me. And so if you have not gotten an email from me and have not gotten that link, please email me at joannemcmanus.mcmanus at nebraska.gov and I will get you that link. The reason why we're not posting that link for everyone is just because we do have two surveys, one for the 22 libraries and one for everyone else. And everyone else does include people who are from other states. You can be part of the whole process. It's just that we want to keep your results separate from uh, our libraries that are a part of the FINRA grant. So you're, you're in. If you want to be in, you're in. Okay. Step two is sign up for check-in webinar number one, which is in two weeks from tomorrow. And, and you certainly may sign up for web, the check-in webinars two, three, four at the same time. And of course, those are all going to be two weeks apart. Uh, step three is you're going to want to uh, bookmark uh, two, uh, the two things that we looked at today. Uh, one is the Smart Investing Project page on our website. So you can get to our glossary, the Nebraska's Guide that I showed you, uh, a place where you can link to the webinar recordings. If you miss any of those, obviously you're going to want to look at those PowerPoints again, and, um, and of course the library and training plan calendar. And then you're also going to want to um, work on Weeks 1's readings and review all those hot linked websites, go through the Santa Clara um, website, and you're going to want to um, Bookmark that as well, so you can always go back when you have a few minutes to read on a little more. And I'm going to email you this, so yeah, you have so you, you can just have those links ready to go. Okay, so we're getting close to the end. Do we have any questions? Please feel free to type a question in the chat box or type uh, a request to have your microphone unmuted if you've got a microphone. Um, actually, we had a little bit of you know, just a trouble with the slides. Let me see here. There we go. There we go. Um, the slides kind of froze up in the broadcast. I see. Oh, and so we got to go through again. So um, they can hear. There's audio, but uh, the slides were not advancing. So. So there's this is three. This here. is step three. It's the library commission resources, and step four. The actual curriculum for staff training. We have a question. Are they are you going to be sending out an email telling them where to go to sign up for the check-in webinars, or have you already done that? Or Here, let me just show you right now. Here's where you go to sign up for the check-in webinars. You go to the Nebraska Library Commission website. That that's nlc.nebraska.gov. You go right over here to calendar. You don't want April because it's going to be May. <laughs> and you go right here, see here's the first one, Smart Investing number one. That's the check-in webinar, the first one. And then you go right down here where it says register. Click on register. And there's some more information here. And if you want to find these, you can find them on the calendar. 
one other way to find them is if you go to our website and you can't remember the address of the smart investing section you just go to FINRA it'll say smart investing at your library and it brings and, that and then go ahead and click on that library and training, training, training documents. documents and then if you go down you'll see um, the calendar of check-in webinars and each one of those ha also has a hot link of how to register for it. So you, so you can go right there. And so you're there's back where we were when we went to the calendar. Right. So there's more than one way to, to find that on there on our website. But yes, uh, I am going to email everyone and give them those steps on how. And so at that time when you get that, if you want to bookmark everything so you can find it, that'll be great. Any additional questions or suggestions? I mean, you may have some thoughts about how we could make this easier. And we do want to make it as fun and compelling as possible. So we want to all have better skills and confidence at the mm -hmm. end of this. And, um, and I think one of the things I want to leave you with as far as uh, why we are doing the check-in web webinars is because we just think that's a good way to... Uh, reinforce what everyone has learned as you go through the online curriculum for those that didn't have time to study each website uh, that it takes you to others will be able to share some of the things that they've seen and really liked and of course um, we're going to be going over questions and information on those check-in webinars and so if you're more of a learner by listening then that's a good that's that will help as well and just like you said before sometimes the most you learn is when you're you're hearing what other people are saying about what they're learning so that's going to be great mm -hmm. any any questions suggestions? no any last minute questions comments this is your chance <laughs> well thanks for sticking with us i know we went over a few minutes we really appreciate it and thank you for to all of our uh all of our sponsors thank you to our sponsors <laughs> um no to ala to finra to the Santa Clara County Library District in California, where we are so grateful to be able to use their curriculum. And of course, to the Northeast Library System and the Nebraska Library Commission. And if you haven't done that pre-evaluation, <laughs> get on. Get it done. <laughs> Time is now. <laughs> thank you very much, everyone. Great. All right. Okay. You want that back? Yeah. All right, thank you. We just got a few thank yous coming in. And Lola says, you ladies were great. Thank you. Oh, Lola, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> So, uh, thank you everyone for attending. Um, I know this is very useful, so hopefully you got your info going and we'll get started on this um, new program. Um, so, that will wrap it up for today's show. Yeah. So, that will wrap up for today's Encompass Live. I just, um, no. uh, its show has been recorded and it will be available probably later this afternoon if I can get onto it. Um, so you'll be everyone who attended, you'll be sent a link um, with the recording of the show, the PowerPoint slides that were shown, and links to the different websites that are mentioned in the PowerPoint slides too, so you have access to all of that. Um, so that will wrap it up for this morning. I hope you join us next week when actually Catherine, who just kind of sat over here quietly today, <laughs> will be back with us um, to do a session about um, the internship. A win-win situation. We do internships here at the Library Commission, and uh, Kevin comes on about once a year to remind people of it and get um, more people involved in doing it. So um, sign up for that next for next Wednesday's show. Um, also, we are on Facebook, so if you are a big Facebook user, please do go ahead and like us on Facebook on the Encompass Live web um, page there. We post whenever any new shows are coming up, when recordings are available. Um, reminders, for example, here of when you can log in on the fly to a show. If you didn't get to register ahead of time, you can go ahead and do that there. Other than that, that will wrap it up for this morning. Thank you very much for attending, and we'll see you next time on Encompass Live. Bye-bye. Thank you, Krista. Bye.